comes to me a lot that you want to pro- broadcast that you're associating with black people. Do you have to? Well, that conversation recorded without Mr. Sterling's knowledge, nonetheless, was the beginning of the end for him. We all know how it uh, got resolved. Steve Ballmer bought the team uh, uh, from uh, Sterling's wife, actually, there for $2 billion. Here's my question, and I'll ask you, why exactly is the league countersuing him now? Didn't they already get what they wanted? Why are they suing again? For whatever damages they think that he inflicted based on his conduct and based on the fight that he instigated, um, it's hard to tell. Is there a tactic here? Wouldn't they just want this thing to go away? Didn't they get what they wanted, the league? It should go away. Oh, no. You have to be politically correct and show it's not enough to strip them of the team, but you're going to recoup the money for the damage to the NBA brand. Okay, That's then here's my question. Now, I'm not a Sterling fan by any means, okay? I'm, I'm happy how it stirred up. But if he was deemed to be competent when he said those things, then how is he deemed incompetent to manage his, in effect, estate or his asset here um, as it related to the Clippers? Didn't the league get it both ways here? Well, I think they did. Uh, but I, I don't think he's going quietly into the night. I mean, I think Well, he he's already had a shot. Didn't he lose? Well, no, but, but he can appeal the decision which said yeah. that he was incompetent and, he, and set aside the sale. And that's why the league is going to counter sue him. You're suing the league to, you know, to appeal it. Then you know he's going to, he, they're going to get back at you. The answer has nothing to do with the facts. This was event driven, yeah. result driven, result oriented, and this is the way they needed to get to where they needed to be. Here's the thing. I know Bill agrees with me about this. I stay up nights hoping and praying that someone will tape Fred Wilpon, you know, making <laughs> or Charles Wong and saying I something like this. Please. That's all the time we have for tonight. We'll see you at six o'clock tomorrow evening. Till then.